DNA comes into us, we merge with the technology to live also indefinitely. Like the DNA, in a sense, is immortal. It's all cell. You know. um, so we get our immortality with the merger, which then buys us time to leave the solar system and go off into the universe, maybe mate with other beings, uh, and then permeate the universe with consciousness in some way that might be a um, uh, a, a pause in the entropic forces to figure out what we really want to do when we grow up, so to speak. Uh, so I would see, in a sense, immortality as being part of the long-range agenda, no pun intended, but because in a sense that's what matter and energy did to DNA. The DNA is doing with us with the mind and intelligence and machines and so forth. So it seems to me to be not an unreasonably, um, not an unreasonable position if you take the long stretch of, of, of matter and energy and time. So, everybody would agree with living long time. What it is, is with getting people to uh, donate their time and donate their money. That's the hard sell. Building a community. That's, that's where the problem lies, is, is having something concrete enough that people will invest their times or even uh, change some of the things that they've been brought up with. I mean, that's a very hard thing if you've been brought up as a Presbyterian or, you know, a Buddhist or <laughs> whatever, you know, you are. It's, it's very hard to uh, change some of those beliefs. It's not hard for me to talk to other people about immortalism. For me, it's just a, a natural extension. You want the best for your children. You want the best for yourself. Nobody chooses to die. In 2003, Russian scientist Igor Vyshev, who introduced the concept of immortology, the science of immortality, celebrated the 100-year anniversary of the death of Russian immortalist philosopher Nikolai Fedorov. Fedorov pioneered the concept that mortality need not be an attribute of human existence and called for the elimination of death. Humans, Fedorov said, can still be human even when they gain the ability to live forever. The problem of immortality is being developed for more than 150 years by Russian philosophers. The first great Russian thinker that we need to mention is Nikolai Fyodorovich Fyodorov, who has developed the philosophy of the common cause. Recently, the 100th year anniversary of his death was honored in December 2003. Fyodorov was the first to describe death as the result of spontaneous natural evolution. But by introducing the consciousness and the will of the people, he argued, it should be possible to apply the scientific knowledge to regulation of the spontaneous processes and remove the causes of death. The Mortality Institute is it brings together people who, for whatever reason, don't buy into the, the whole notion that there's nothing that can be done about aging. You know, there's... there's thousands and thousands of us out there that we've already found and probably tens of thousands or more out there who have this feeling that we can do something about aging but we haven't found somewhere to turn to because the 99.9% .9 of the rest of society tells us that there's nothing we can do about it. The ultimate goal for Immanst, I think, is to change people's perspective, change people's minds, that living forever is not a bad thing, that it can be done, and create an environment where people will feel not threatened, but comfortable, and allow research and technology on life extension to be an important topic, and to show other people that people who desire to live forever are good people, are normal people, and should have that right to live forever. The very fact of being able to find other people who think like you is very, very empowering for immortalists who haven't, if I can make a joke, uh, haven't come out of the closet yet. So you go into the website, you see other people think in a similar way as you do, you don't feel so much ashamed of your way of thinking. So slowly we're gathering together a body of knowledge that will become increasingly respectable. Now what I believe happens, I believe this happens with every movement, is at a certain point you, read a, you have the ideology, you have enough books, enough materials, enough arguments, enough answers to the hostile questions, and then something will happen. 
Well, first of all, I want to live indefinitely long. Uh, I'm not so sure that I want to live forever, but until further notice, if I can get away with it, I want to go on indefinitely um, and then subject to whatever I may do with all that time and what I may find out about the nature of reality and the nature of man. And uh, you see, my motivation for wanting to live indefinitely long is exactly that, is to find out the answers to what is the nature of reality? What is the nature of man? Who am I? Where am I coming from? What is the purpose of all this? So perfect in your simple-minded world The pixel's light is shining in the moon's brightness You know it's temporary cause all the goodness is vanishing And for now, your white wings are softly touching the velvety water Till it wakes up and all the dismay comes real Ice becomes fire What is all you desire? But no good is left Ear to taste the death Come on, let me breathe To keep my heart pounding Pulsing with the cool breeze Hell, just don't let me free yes, yeah. It's like blue morning doesn't seem to be familiar Too much lily and the sky is so relaxing I live forever but I feel something too good is happening All these sounds cannot hold on for too long my own sanity One step closer to infernal eternity Ice becomes fire what is all you desire? But no good is left. Here to taste the death. Come on, let me breathe. To keep my heart pounding. Pulsing with the cool breeze. Hell, just don't let me free. Yeah. Too damn good to be real. All is like I can feel. At the best, it will all go away. The control overtake the dismay. Black would be the day, and dark shall be the night. When the time will be the best, the weekend shall wake up of the long depressed. Eyes become fire. What is all you desire? But no good is left. Here to taste the death. Come on, let me breathe. To keep my heart pounding. Pulsing with the cool breeze. Hell, just don't let me free. Yes, yeah. Can't imagine it all this up. Fears vanishing like nothing isn't even worth my tears. If it was, I wouldn't cry. Now I know I see.